Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Today is all about the Italian hero sandwich. No matter what part of the country you're from, the north, they call it heroes. In the south, we call it submarines. Whatever it is, we've got the easiest but the most flavorful sandwich you've ever had. So the theme of the today is easy griddle sandwiches, right? Not everything you put on the griddle has to be toasted, high heat, and all that stuff. Use your advantage. When we go to Subway, right? I'm sure most of you guys out there and gals have been to Subway. Our favorite sandwich is an Italian style sandwich, whether it's the BMT or whatever they call it, right? Spicy Italian. Spicy Italian, thank you. But we always eat it and we're like, golly, it's good, but we can make so much better. And that is what we're doing today. We're actually gonna dress the lettuce. I love how it reacts. The bread absorbs it, I think, a little bit more. If you like the vinegar tang in it, this one is for you. Very, very, very easy. You ready? Yeah. Let's dress the lettuce first. Our flat top is preheating, and we're gonna put all these ingredients. All this is for lettuce. That's how important lettuce is on my sandwich. You can use iceberg. Today, we just had a small head of romaine. Not a big deal. I'm going to use vinegar first. People are going to say you're out of your mind when I describe this, but this is just the truth. Anytime I dress lettuce, I always put oil last. So that way the first thing that the lettuce absorbs is not oil. All right, a little Italian seasoning. I think the oil blocks stuff from absorbing. We've talked about it with our meats before. Salt and pepper. A little garlic powder, just a touch, not a lot. I feel like the shakes. Uh oh, we're using the we're using the craft parmesan. Uh oh, sorry, Bob. Bob. sorry, Bob. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Typically, I wouldn't say typically. A lot of times, you're probably more close to like a 50-50 blend with oil and vinegar. You'll know it right away. You want it to hit the back of your throat. All this vinegar right here helps cuts all that richness from your meat. All right, so now that your lettuce absorbed all that flavor, now I'm just gonna lightly put a little bit of extra virgin olive oil in there, just lightly. So that's our dressed lettuce right there. This is how we make our sandwiches. Probably make our salads too. All right. Do you want hinged or no hinged? Um, I don't know. That's up to you. Do one of each. We're going to hinge it. Okay. The bread is absolutely perfect. We went to one grocery store, couldn't find it. Went to Publix and found these. What exactly are those called? Oh. I think they're actually called sub rolls. I think they are. They're soft, they're tender, but they got the cornmeal crust, which that's a big talking point. Matt, you know what I'm talking about. Um, it, it's just very, very pliable. So it's lightly crunchy on the outside, but soft on the inside. That's perfect. So this is what I like to do. There's a difference between a toast and a steam. Today we're going to be steaming, okay? So just coat it with a Black Forest ham. I know you're thinking, where's the griddle coming in part? Just be patient. I'm doing two sandwiches exactly the same so you guys can get the idea, okay? Uh, I want the pepperoni on the actual griddle. I'm protecting the ham. I've got a theory behind this. Is that enough for you? Yep. All right. The reason why I did it like this, if you lay out your meat, it's hard to gauge how much meat you got. Are you gonna put too much meat? Or are you just gonna throw it on there? So what we're gonna do now is just like this. Just like that. Let all that steam come up and steam your bun. Just like that. Ooh. See that steam? That's just the difference between toasting. We didn't wanna toast our bread today. With all that meat.
It won't take long for that cheese to melt. So the bread steamed from the moisture coming up from the meat, correct? Yes. Instead of putting the bread directly on the grill. Correct. Just like that. And the reason why we put the meat on the bread first, that way you're not wasting any. Look at that. Just like that. I'm just going to hit our tomatoes just with a little salt and pepper. You guys can add a little balsamic vinegar, balsamic glaze, something like that. We just like salt and pepper. And like any recipe we do, for the love of our marriage, you can make it any way you want to, as long as your wife's happy. Those sweet hot peppers are perfect for this. Uh, that red relish we used the one time, honey. Um, I think it was called Wickles. Was the brand. The brand, yeah. Sandwich spread. It was a hot pepper sandwich spread. That would be fantastic as well. Ooh. Oh, man. Look at all that fat. The bread's absorbed all that flavor. That's why I dressed the lettuce. She thought I was absolutely nuts. I said, sometimes, oh my God. Golly. Sometimes you just have to trust me. Not all the time. I should know by now that you know what you're doing in the kitchen or in the outdoor kitchen. <laughs> That's the only place I know what I'm doing. Pretty much. <laughs> All right, move your meat over. It's important to be able to close your lid. Here we go. God, I think we're gonna make this again next week too, honey. <laughs> this looks so good. these Bobby's sweet onions. Oh, that's right. God, oh, this is like the third time. Mr. Bobby Evans, what a shout out to you. I cannot thank you enough. He sent me an absolute awesome gift package that we got in the mail, uh, the P.O. Box, and it was fantastic. Southern Sweet Vidalia Onions. We talked about it back and forth, and he said, you get them often. I said, only, rarely, only when they're in perfect season, but he's got the hookup, and he sent me some, and they are fantastic. Fantastic. And this is a great way to put them on there. These are definitely those. I, thank you, honey. I forgot all about that. Not too many banana peppers on mine. Just a few. See, now while that bread is absorbing all that liquid from the grease, from the pepperoni, the salami and the ham, you come back here and top it off with that vinegar based lettuce right there. This is between me and you and nobody else. I got so excited about building my sandwich, I forgot about the mayonnaise. Never, ever, ever will I have one of these without mayonnaise. So we just wanna, what's this called? Like a plan B? <laughs> right on the side. That'll work for me. I'll do the other one off camera. All right, guys, there you go. Very simple, very easy, just another technique. We, weren't about to we were not worried about toasting. We weren't worried about how hot the griddle was. We just let all those oils and fat and stuff basically just warm up the meats, which is why we had the idea of this. And we like the balance of like a, a steamed bun or bread sometimes versus just like that hard crunchy toast. So we thought we'd throw that in there too, so. Oh, I'm so excited. Talk about an easy lunch. Mm. <laughs> you know what you get right away? The fact that you made it the way you like to eat it. You actually get the Parmesan cheese and the lettuce first. Could be just way to hit the mouth. And then those warm meats, the oils, but the vinegar cuts it. 
just like on our Philly steak and cheese, we like the the, uh, the banana peppers. It's just a fantastic sandwich. It's easy to do, Super lunch, easy. dinner, you name it. Plus you're putting on there what you guys like and that's the most important. Find us on the Griddle Group. Make something like this, tag us, and let's see what you guys are making out there. Ooh, someone just made a sandwich yesterday on the Griddle Group and I was like, dang, that looks good. I don't even remember who it was or what it was. Well, shout out to them. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for all the support. Thanks for all the subscribers. Loving each every one of you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button. Blah, 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 blah. Pound the notification button. Share it with your friends. You've heard all that before. I'm going to lunch. Yeah, let's eat, let's eat, let's eat. Mmm. Mmm.